Today we're taking a look at two different devices from Seed Studio. We are looking at the T1000E and the Wio Tracker L1 Pro. Both very fantastic devices and I can't wait to dive into them with you. So today we're looking at the Wio Tracker L1 Pro and the T1000E. Uh, both from Seed Studio. The L1 Pro was sent to me by Seed Studio for testing so that I could have a look at it and tell you guys what I think of it. The T1000E I purchased on my own. I was recommended this device by some uh, local other hams and other Meshtastic users. Um, both of these devices I could not be more happy with. They're both fantastic devices. Let's jump into these and uh, see what comes in the box. I only took a quick video of the Opening the box, inside the box, it really it only comes with a device and a power cable, so there's uh, not a whole lot to see. Lots of this padding, I like the paper padding. The L1 comes a little bit uh, different. Same inside padding. Box is a little thicker. Well, it's a little bit of a bigger device. Pretty standard. Love the texture of this device. 3D printed, and I don't know if they use some sort of heat treatment or if it's more resin printed. I don't know. I'm not a big 3D print guy. Remove a little rubber boot and pop the antenna on. And uh, power it up, I guess. This device is great. It's a little directional pad and additional buttons. I love it. All right, now that we've had a look at what comes in the box, let's have a look at the specifications of both these devices. We're going to start with the newer one, the L1 Pro. So this has a 2000 milliamp battery. So this is a, a great device if you need, you know, several days. I've had this thing running for like up to five days with a pretty high utilization network and it's um you know five up to five days of, of usage it's it's incredible so both devices they both run off bluetooth they do not have wi-fi um this one obviously has the oled screen so uh it does have a larger battery but it does last a little bit longer uh one of the great features of this one is the joystick so there's actually this little joystick that you toggle back and forth up and down to control the menu as well as clicking um, the buttons on this one, it's got a reset button, it's got a power toggle, it has a menu button, so this is actually a nice handy button. You can you can turn the screen on and off and things like that. There is other firmware out there. I've already seen a uh, on-screen keyboard, so you can send custom messages right through the keyboard. It's not the factory uh, Meshtastic firmware, but it is uh, firmware that is out there. It is possible. Um, and the uh, USB-C, so it has USB-C input and it will take a solar panel directly into it. It's got uh, a couple little indicators there for when it is charging. Uh, this device is just fantastic. I really like the fact that you can actually change the antenna on this. Um, so, you know, if you do have a higher gain antenna or it's going to be inside and you want to have like a little mag mount or something like that, there's, uh, you know, options there. Um, both devices do also have buzzers, so you can set up uh, alerts and all that kind of stuff. Um, so jumping over to the T1000E. So this guy, a little bit of a different device. This is an all-in-one. This one is waterproof. It has an internal antenna. So the antenna is actually just right there. Uh, looks like a little comb. The antenna works fantastic on receive on this device. Getting out, it's a little bit more challenging. Like I said, the internal antenna is inside this. You know, it's inside your pocket wherever. It is a little bit tougher than using the external antenna device. But the receive capability is fantastic on this. I cannot say enough good things. This is absolutely my my everyday carry for, for when I'm uh, you know at work and stuff like that. It needs to be a little bit more discreet. This device is my absolute everyday carry if I don't need to be so discreet. I'm going out to have fun or going on a camping trip, something like that, and I want to see a little bit more specifications on the screen and that sort of thing. Um, the T1000E is just a single button. So 
it is waterproof, like I said, so the single button to control everything, you know, double clicking, triple clicking, depending on how you set it up. Also, because it is waterproof, it does use the magnetic, magnetic uh, charger. So currently I have my mag charger uh, mounted into a 3D printed dock block. So you can just sit the device on the block and you're charging ready to go. So very fun features to be had. This magnetic charger is universal. So there is other devices out there that take this magnetic charger. So you can uh, order other cables. It doesn't have to be just a Seed Studio um, specific cable. There is universality to it, which is pretty awesome. One of the other things about this guy that I really uh, quite like is that it's got a three axis accelerometer, which hasn't really been um, uh, implemented into Meshtastic, but I am excited to see how that goes and, uh, you know, if the tracking can be a little bit more um, accurate once they've incorporated that feature into the Meshtastic firmware. Um, but as far as devices go, both of these devices, the Seed Studio um, L1 Pro and the T1000E are both fantastic devices. You're not going to go wrong with either of them. So thank you guys for watching. Definitely, these two Meshtastic devices are probably some of the best of 2025, that's for sure. Um, if you are, you know, into the hands-on stuff, you can get the actual breakout of the of the entire board on this one. So if you want to hook up additional sensors or do some modifications to it, you can. You can also um, purchase the components from of this device uh, from Seed Studio as well. Um, or the there's other versions, the L1 Ink uh, screen, the e-ink screen. Um, and like I said, you can buy it without the case as well. Um, the T1000E, like I said, out of the box, ready to go unit. You don't need to do anything. Well, they, they both are actually, um, out of the box, ready to go. So you don't need to mess around with them. Just get them connected, configure them to your liking in the Meshtastic app and you're off to the races. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to purchase a Seed Studio device, I have a bunch of discount codes in the description below. So do not hesitate. Both of these devices are fantastic devices. Get one, get both. They're absolutely fantastic. You're not gonna go wrong with either one of these as an everyday carry. This one, like I said, fantastic. If you just wanna keep it a little bit more discreet, if you're gonna be going somewhere fun where people are um, you know, not uh, gonna be offended by crazy devices hanging off of you, then absolutely go for the L1 Pro. Um, the battery life on it, fantastic. The screen on it, amazing. I, I can't say enough great things about Seed Studio and the devices they've been coming out with over the last year. So please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. If you want more Meshtastic devices in my videos, leave a comment below and we can go over some more devices. But in the meantime, click subscribe, click like, leave a comment. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.